What is up, guys? Welcome back to the next Freaktography Abandoned Theater Adventure. I just know you guys are going to love this one. Guys, here we are today in a big abandoned theater. Very old, very historic. Lots of peeling paint, lots of dust. So much stuff to see in this place, guys. Wait till you see the projection room. Such an awesome place. As you can see, I am pumped. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks so much to Exploring with Angelo. Guys, his links are in the video description down below. Make sure you hit those links and follow Angelo and subscribe to his channel. Let's quit messing around, guys. Cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. Okay guys, let's get right to it. We're gonna start at the back of the stage, facing the actual theater, the auditorium, the seating. We're gonna walk to the front of the stage and uh, we'll get this place done proper. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna see this entire place, room by room. What a gorgeous building this is, guys. Wait until you see everything that this building has to offer. So there are some lights here. The uh, lights that you're seeing up there are construction lights and they've been here for quite some time. And they're plugged in because this place does has power. And then down here on the stage facing the auditorium, I've got two loom cube panel lights right there. So I have the two loom cube panels that are illuminating the uh, theater from this direction. And I have those two lights uh, at the top of the balcony that are illuminating the ceiling, partially the uh, theater seating and then back here to the stage. So let's get right to it. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. Look at this ceiling, guys. That is a tin ceiling, painted blue. And as you can see right in the center there, there is a tin panel that is about to fall off. It's hanging on by just a couple of pieces of metal and it will eventually one day drop, hopefully not on my head. So oh, let's take a pan down. I really like the way that those lights are lighting up the ceiling down there. Most of the seats are all here. Left side, right side, and then right in the middle, there are some seats missing, but most of the seats are all still here. So let's take a walk down. You are hearing a very annoying beep. That is the fire alarm system. It's been beeping nonstop for who knows how long. Seats are all very old and dusty. And then you look here on the front row and the backs of the seats on the front row are gone, but the seat parts are still there. And then there's a whole, there's like probably seven or eight rows missing of seats, so who knows where they went, what happened there, but those seats are all gone. Head kind of on over here and we'll look at the walls. They've got uh, little uh, designs embellishments painted on the walls and on where each light fixture would go. There is a large chandelier right here in the center of the ceiling with something hanging from it. I don't know if it's paper towels or toilet paper or what. We'll head up to the balcony a bit and guys wait till you see the projection room, holy cow. Again, thank you to Exploring with Angelo for hooking us up with this one. He's here somewhere, I'm not too sure where he is. He's kind of staying out of the way here for this video. But again, like I said earlier, guys, his links are down below. I highly, highly recommend that you follow Exploring with Angelo and say thank you to him for hooking us up with this one. Okay, and we're back and we're still looking at the ceiling and now we're gonna make our way down and we're gonna take a look at the main stage. Nice wide panning shot down. Check out the curtains and the stage. Look at that, just a beautiful sight. I'll head
head up a bit closer to the stage and we'll take a look up at the uh, at these curtains here. I'll point my lights up so we can get a better look there. So there's your decorative curtain at the front here. And then as you saw at the intro of my video, that curtain right there goes up and down, which was a huge surprise when I got here with Angelo and we were looking around. I started pushing buttons to see what works. And I was very surprised to see that the, uh, the curtain still worked. Okay, let's take a look up this way. We'll head uh, to the front of the... I don't know how this works. Is this, am I going towards the front or the back? I can't really tell. Very dusty seats, as you can see. You've got uh, people putting their handprints on there, so they're very dusty. Nice view from the back here. Below the mezzanine. Can't wait to show you guys the lobby. The lobby is beautiful. As far as abandoned places go, all of this peeling paint in the lobby, it's just gorgeous. The stairs, these pillars right here. So here's a look, I'll, I'll pan all the way across the balcony, or the, I'll pan all the way across the lobby here from this view. Using a loom cube to light this up. This is actually being lit by a panel mini right now, uh, attached to my DJI Pocket 2 camera. So I'll put a link down below guys for loom cube if you guys are interested in some lighting. This place is pretty dark, so uh, this very small loom cube panel mini is doing a really good job at lighting this place up. So we'll put a link down in the video description for loom cube if you guys are interested. I'll go down the stairs here and I'll give you guys a really nice wide view. Here's the main front doors from the street. So here we'll take a view here. Very cool guys. Okay, as we head this way to the left of the lobby, we approach here and we'll see a uh, very dirty old chandelier hanging from the ceiling. And then here, there is a, uh, a mural painted on the wall of like a, a city street with some chairs and tables and then uh, it goes over as though the bar here is a part of the city. And so here's where you'd have your, uh, your drinks, your bar. Or what these are. Uh, they've got something painted on them. It's like a... Uh, a background for the stage for a former show that they had playing here. Bar storage is empty. And a coffee cup there.
Head over to this side. Not as much to see here. Another chandelier, though. But you can get a good view from this corner here of the whole lobby, which I like. Okay, if we head into this side, you see what looks like a ticket booth. So I can pull this down like this. And there's nothing else in here, but there's that ticket booth right there. And if we go around this way, into this door here. So here's an entrance way from the street. And then your ticket booth right here. So you'd come in from that door and buy your tickets. And then you come in here and there's a bar down here. Nothing too much, just a bar mask there. Got a picture of an orchestra on the wall. And then back here, it's just a uh, some kind of a room with all of the, the gas meters and all that stuff. Got an alarm here, alarm panel. It's making a lot of strange noises. Might come back. See what's confusing to me is that all the panels are on, all the breakers are on, but I can't seem to get certain lights to turn on, which is a little bit annoying to me, guys. All right. Let's take a quick break and we're going to head upstairs and I'll show you guys the mezzanine. See you guys up there. Okay, moving on, we're going to take a walk through the lobby. And there are two sets of stairs we can go, go to. So let's go this way. We'll go up this way and we'll come down the other side. Nice decorated railings here. And as we get up here, you'll see some significant water damage. Look at all this water damage on the wall, guys. And I'll show you in a minute what that's coming from. Just check this out. So from here, guys, if you look up to the ceiling right there, you can see there's a hole in the ceiling from the roof where water will come pouring in during a rainfall or a snow thaw and the water will just drop down onto this right here and it drips down there as you can see very messy rotting away at the wood and just eroding away the paint on the wall here huge mess So here we are, guys, we're on the mezzanine level now. And you can see all the seats are still here. And here's one of those construction lights that I was telling you about down below where we still have power, so it's plugged into the wall and one of them still works. So we're able to light up and you guys can actually see the entire theater from here. And there's your chandelier right in the center.
That's just a beautiful view, guys. Wow. All right, let's make our way up to the projection room because there's only so much we can look at up here on the uh, mezzanine level. There's only so much to see. We will take a look from here. And we'll check out the whole theater from the very top. Dead center, there we go. Okay guys, here is the main reason to come here. I was blown away when Angelo showed me this. In we go into the projection room and check out this massive old film projection machine. It's still humming too. It's still turned on, it still works. No clue how it works, how to use it. <laughs> there is a film right here. If you look, there is still film inside it. But I can, I, I was trying to see earlier and I can't tell what movie it might be just from looking at one or two certain uh, frames. But isn't that amazing? Pushing buttons, nothing's happening. <laughs> and here's something cool. If we come over here, there is a movie. Still in its reel. From 20th Century Fox, but like I said, I haven't been able to determine what movie it might be. Lots and lots of water damage in this room coming from the ceiling and over here. Let's go over here and see this projector some more. From this side now. So there's your, there's your lens basically that projects this, the, the movie. It's kind of rammed in back here so I can't really see much. But is that not one of the coolest things you guys have ever seen? Okay, so we'll take one last look. There's a bathroom there where the projection guy uses the bathroom when he's up here in the dark. And...
And here we are back again in the mezzanine. Now we'll go down the other side of the stairs. And in here, in this room, there's a huge old safe that's still locked. Look at how old and rusty that thing is. Wonder if, any, if there's anything in there. That would be cool if there was. Again, peeling paint. This is the bathroom in here. Oh, it's warm in here. Oh, the heat's on. Wow. There's a picture on the wall. So we've now covered the lobby, the theater, the stage, the projection room. We're currently back in the lobby. Here's a above head view of the lobby. So let's head uh, Underneath the stage, there's uh, dressing rooms. So we'll go back behind the stage, underneath, down, downstairs. And then that will be the end of this part of the video before we get to the cinematics. Let's take another look at the theater while we're up here. Here we go. So in here, what's up guys? Dressing room with your classic dressing room lights over the mirrors. And then there's some wardrobe hangers and closets and shelving. And then here's another dressing room. Okay, let's uh, take another quick break. I'm gonna head upstairs and then we're gonna move on to the cinematic style. So I'll see you guys in a minute.
Okay, guys, as they say in the theater industry, that's a wrap on this one. Abandoned theater. Thanks so much to Exploring with Angelo for hooking us up with this one. Make sure you guys hit his YouTube link in the video description down below. If you're not already subscribed, which you should be, subscribe to his channel. Say thanks for hooking us up with this video. And make sure you watch his videos, engage, hit the like button, comment, do all the things to thank Urbex Angelo for hooking us up. Now, my friend Dave here, he's going to wrap up the rest of this video. Yes, that's right. Thanks very much, Dave. So as he was saying, make sure you follow Angelo. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been a really cool location. Make sure you hit the links in the video description, not only for Angelo, but for Loom Cube and for all my other social media channels. And, oh, I have one more thing I wanted to tell you. Okay, guys, so that wraps this one up. Once again, big abandoned theater. Thanks so much to Urbex Angelo. Thanks to Loom Cube for being my sponsor. Check the video description for 